Hi everyone, I'm Jen, and I'm going to talk to you about the Norwex Superior Mop System. This thing is fabulous. I actually earned one for free when I hosted a party before I signed up as a consultant. Okay, yes, I earned it for free. So if you want to try and earn it for free, you let me know. I love this mop. You can clean the floors, walls, windows, ceilings using only water with this mop. It's fantastic. Okay. What you get with this superior mop system, you get an extendable handle, a mop base, a dry mop pad, and a wet mop pad, okay? You also have the option to get the superior mop system with a rubber brush. I'm going to show you that in a minute. I highly recommend it. Okay, a few things to note about this mop. So the handle is adjustable. <clears throat> you want it to be somewhere between about your chin height, roughly, give or take. And to adjust it, you're going to go lefty, loosey, righty, tighty, right? So you're going to adjust it however you need, click it to the right, and it will lock in place. Okay, this mop base is designed to swivel, okay? I'm going to show you how it works, but it's designed to, to use in a figure eight motion. There is a lock on the base. You only lock it when you're doing walls or windows or ceilings. If you're using it on the floor, you use it unlocked. Okay, so I'm going to take the dry mop pad and I will tell you that the mop pads are labeled so you know which is which. It's a little fluffier. It's meant to replace like your broom. Okay, you no longer need to sweep. You use this because that's what this does. Um, and I will tell you, it comes in two different color sets. I have the Nordic Naturals, which is more like a rose gold color. And it also comes in a blue and green color. Um, a few things about the handle. It's got a rubber ball on the top here. <clears throat> that is great for when you lean it up against something. The rubber will hold it <clears throat> in place from, you know, sometimes you set it on down, it'll, go, it'll just fall to the ground. It also has this nifty little feature, which is great. If you short it, you can literally put it right on, on a countertop and it'll literally hang. Okay, <clears throat> the dry mop pad. I like to offset the pad and I will tell you why. So, you see, I have it offset so that it flips up. Why? so I can do my baseboards. And you can see, you can see right in the video, literally it makes it easy to adjust your baseboards. Okay, so as I mentioned, you're going to use this in a figure eight motion. You do not want to use this front and back like you would a regular mop because it may flip flop because of that base design, okay? So you want to go back and forth, figure eight motion always keeping that same side leading the way okay once you done once you're done sweeping um, I want to show you the rubber brush okay rubber brush is fantastic I not only use it for this I use it for any of my shoemeal products like my Enviro one I use it on my couch to remove pet fur even on my floor mats uh, it's also great for the car, removes all kinds of stuff, super easy, you just wipe it, okay? I like to do this outside or over a garbage can, but you're literally going to <clears throat> remove anything that was picked up. Okay, in terms of, now you're, you're, you made a pile on the ground, you have a couple options to pick it up. Uh, you can use the rubber brush and sweep it into the dustpan, prefer to use a dustpan. <clears throat> Two other options taking the Norwex and Viral cloth wet, and you're literally going to sweep it in a pile and pick it up with the Enviro cloth. Or there is the Norwex dust mitt, uh, also wet, again wet, and you literally scoop it right up and grab it. Uh, okay, so once you're done using the dry mop pad, you're gonna move over to the wet mop. Again, they are labeled. Don't want the mop pad too wet because um, <clears throat> it may leave streaks. Um, 
what you what you'll notice is the floors dry super fast with this probably in about 30 seconds which is fantastic you don't have to worry about footprints going through it um, right in the middle and again you're going to go back and forth Super simple. Once you get the hang of going back and forth instead of front and back, it's very easy. I will tell you, I'm going to show you how to use it on my windows. Um, I'm going to line it up. On my windows, I like to line it up to an edge. Because you have a little more control. I'm also going to lock the base. Literally, I wouldn't do it here because I normally would do my regular window cloth and viral cloth. But if you have high windows, I like to do it outside because I can't reach the windows. And you can literally just wash your windows. Again, this mod pad is the same as the Enviro cloth. It removes 99% of bacteria using only water. And now this is the next mod pad. The window mop pad. It's kind of like the window cloth, but it is on a mop pad. Line it up against the edge, which will give you more control on a window. And you're going to have a straight free shine. Okay. So you can go this way, a little better. Okay. That is the window mop pad. This is an add on. Another add-on that's pretty fantastic is the chenille mop pad. This is great for people with pets or anybody with a messy eater, and it picks up larger particles, okay? It is the Norwex chenille. I'm gonna put it on, and you're gonna go back and forth in the same figure eight motion, okay? When you're done, you're gonna take that rubber brush this is why it's so fantastic, and you're going to do it the same like you would the other dry mop pad, and you're going to either go outside or over garbage can, and you're going to remove anything you picked up. And the next add-on is the tile mop pad. If you have a lot of stuck-on messes, you have tile, or just a lot of buildup on your floors, this is going to be fantastic. It's got little scrubby action, yet it wet. Not, again, not too wet. Put it on the mop base. And you're going to go same like you would, figure eight motion. Okay. These pads are reusable. Okay. This is another fantastic thing. You're going to wash them when you're done with, by hand. And you're going to hang them to dry when they get... So, you know, if they have enough buildup on them or you clean up an extra messy spill, then you can throw them in the wash. I never put the mop pads through the dryer though, because it may affect the longevity of the Velcro on the back. But I get a ton of use out of this. No more, um, you know, of the store brand mops where you have the reusable pads where you go through multiple pads each time you mop. It's a great way to save money. And the last thing I want to show you is the Enviro wand. Okay, this is the Norex dust, one of the Norex dusting tools that allows you to reach high up. Okay, I do it in the corners of rooms, it bends, I do my ceiling fans. If you have high ledges, okay, I want to show you a little neat little trick. You're going to take off the mop pad, or the mop base, I should say. Okay. The one little neat little thing about this Enviro wand before I take that apart, the new one has a neat little brush inside the handle. I use that to clean out the little um, connection on my cell phone, um, on the window crevices, anywhere there's tiny little um, spots to get in. Okay, so the handle comes off the Enviro wand. And you can put it right on the mop base. And look at that. Now I have 
a really long extension. So if you want to do the high, you know, stairwells, if you have balcony ledges, high ceiling fans, this is fantastic. I've also, if you didn't see my other video, I've used this to clean my gutters outside. Literally bend it over and it allows me to get in my gutters and I cleaned out them. So it's pretty awesome. So if you haven't checked out the Normex Superior Mop System, I highly recommend it. It also, they also sell a mini mop system, which is not mini at all. It's actually regular size, it's like a standard size mop. This mop is, um, quite a bit bigger, but I will tell you one of my favorite features about this mop is it's really flat. Um, I don't know if you could tell how flat it is. Um, it actually gets way under, under doorways, like a regular mop, you can't do that because it gets stuck because it's too bulky. This one goes really far under appliances. You'd be surprised what you pull out when you reach under your appliances. Um, again, you can offset it like you do to do the, you know, the, um, the molding on the side. You offset it. You can even offset it even further. Maybe do it like halfway, like this. And then you can reach really far underneath furniture like that. So you'd be surprised what's going to come out. Thanks for watching. Jen's Clean Little Secret. Hi everyone, I'm Jen, and I wanted to show you a few quick tricks for the Superior Mop System from Norwex. The rubber ball on the end is great for removing scuff marks on the floor, okay? It's also fantastic if you go to lean the mop against the wall because the rubber ball will keep it against the wall and in place as opposed to a regular mop may fall down to the ground. Okay, another piece I wanted to show you real quick is this piece right here, okay? We're going to adjust the mop base down. Remember, lefty loosey, righty tighty. Okay. And I'm going to lock it, right? Okay. Now, say I have to go do something real quick and I want the mop off the floor. Hangs right on the countertop. Check that out. Thanks for watching Jen's Clean Little Secret.